second when the president of Ukraine arrived at the White House dressed like the manager of a strip club and started to demand money. Amazingly, no one threw him out and said they did whatever he wanted. I believe, I believe the ash. What I didn't hear tonight was a clear explanation of where the first $50 billion we sent to support their efforts went. Conservatives acted like complete clowns in response to Volodymyr Zelensky's address to Congress. Instead of just their usual projection, over half of the House Republicans didn't even show up to Zelensky's speech, while the usual suspects just spent time on their phones. Until Congress receives a full audit on where our money has already gone, I will not support sending additional money to this war. I really just wish our commander in chief would do the same right here at home and secure our southern border and protect our people. I noticed last night in this historic moment when the Ukrainian president was addressing a joint meeting of, of Congress, uh, you were not there. You decided not to come. Why not? Yeah, I thought it was disrespectful to the Border Patrol officers who are just busting their tails down there. But until we secure our border, I think my priorities is going to be to that. They're just sitting there clapping and cheering on this guy who uses fancy words like democracy and freedom and aren't looking at the facts of what's really going on. Meanwhile, Tucker Carlson was on Fox following Zelensky's speech and referred to him as a strip club manager. The point of today's visit to Washington was not to make the world more stable or make wise decisions, much less to help America. That's always at the bottom of the list. The point was to fawn over the Ukrainian strip club manager and hand him billions more dollars from our own crumbling economy. 44-year-old Zelensky poses between them in a skin-tight polo shirt, flexing like a weightlifter and trying to look ferocious. They seem awestruck. Not since a young Fidel Castro showed up in New York wearing battle fatigues has this country's aging leadership class tittered more loudly in delight. They love a man in uniform. What a hunk. So strong and decisive. Look at the expression of Mitch McConnell's face. You could almost hear the giggles of pleasure. So the leader of a foreign government dressed in a sweatshirt waltzes into the United States Congress and starts demanding money and then has the gall to tell the people sitting there who are giving him tens of billions of dollars more of your money that it's not charity, it's an investment. Really, what are the returns on that? Why is it disloyal to side with Russia, but loyal to side with Ukraine? Why would we take Ukraine's side? Why wouldn't we on Russia's side? I, I don't, I'm totally confused. Has Putin ever called me a racist? Has he threatened to get me fired for disagreeing with him? And I, I don't think that we should be at war with Russia. And I think we should probably take the side of, of, of Russia uh, uh, if we have to choose between Russia and Ukraine. That is my view. And why shouldn't I root for Russia, because, which I am? Because on this show is rooting for Putin. We're rooting for the Ukrainians for that matter, always rooting for peace, for real.